What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Craig Crash and this is Retro Bowl Imperialism. Over the next several videos, I will be taking teams from each conference in college football, putting them into Retro Bowl, and having them compete Battle Royale style. If you're unfamiliar with the Sports Imperialism videos, we spin a wheel that has each team listed on it. Once a team is selected, we spin another wheel to decide which team they'll be attacking. Whoever wins takes the territory of the losing team. We do this until there is one team left standing. Today, it's a conference that I hold very near and dear to my heart, the Mid-American Conference. Who's ready for some action? As I said in the open, this is a big conference for me. Uh, because I grew up in MAC territory, and first team out of the gate is Western Michigan, and Western Michigan will head south. Western Michigan is headed south, and that means I get to see right away if the team I want to see win Retro Bull Imperialism can uh, stand the test, uh, as it will be Western Michigan going to Schumann Stadium to play Ball State. I really hope Ball State doesn't lose, like, right out of the gate. I will be very sad. As we enter the late stages of the first game of MAC Imperialism, Western Michigan trails Ball State 35-28 to with a minute and 36 seconds to play. Can the Broncos make the comeback? Let's watch. All right, fourth down and eight. Last chance for Western Michigan. Oh, they're going to get it caught. First down, get to the sideline. Excellent. Ooh, caught. And this is going to be a touchdown for Western. We're headed to overtime. Tied at 35. First game of the tournament. Getting off hot. Ball State on the doorstep of winning the first game of Mac Imperialism. Cut, touchdown, Cardinals win. Ball State beats Western 41-35, to and they take over a small sliver of Michigan. One team down, who will be our next victim? It's going to be Kent State, and the Golden Flashes will go west. And that means we get Kent State at Toledo. At one point, it was 13-12 to 12 Toledo, but after that, it was all golden flashes, and Kent State will earn the win 30-13. to 13. With half the teams in the Mid-American Conference in the state of Ohio, I can imagine a big point of pride for fans who may be watching this video might be who wins the state of Ohio. Well, the first domino has fallen. Kent State beats Toledo and gets one step closer to owning Ohio. Down to our top 10 in Mac Imperialism. Who is up next? More Ohio drama. It's the Bobcats. They will go to the Northeast. And Northeast of Ohio is Akron. Oh, Akron's going to score. Akron's going to be alive still in this tournament. Touchdown, Zips. We go for the onside kick. Ohio recovers. Final seconds of this one ticking down. Ohio is going to emerge victorious over Akron. Akron just made one too many mistakes in this game, and Ohio gets the victory by a touchdown. So Ohio beats Akron. They move a little bit more north and a little bit closer to winning the battle of the state of Ohio. Our fourth game will feature the Buffalo Bulls. Really only one direction for them to go. And hopefully we land on that direction. We do, kind of. It's southwest... The Bulls are headed southwest, which means they have a date with the Kent State Golden Flashes. And touchdown, Buffalo with 34 seconds left. Onside kick. Kent State recovers. And now they own the east side of the map. We are a third of the way through MAC Imperialism. Already some pretty fantastic moments. 
Next up, we get Miami of Ohio. And Miami will go northwest. And northwest of the Miami logo is the Kent State territory. And that means the flashes are going to be on the defense again. 133 to play here in the fourth quarter. Kent State has the football tied with Miami. Okay, I just waited for that one to develop a little bit too long. Fourth down. we are got to go for it. Well, actually, you don't have to go for it if you're Kent. I want to go for it, but you know what? Honestly, on 4th and 11, we probably should punt. A field goal try for Miami to try to knock off Kent. Kick is up, and it is good with a second left. Miami of Ohio takes the lead. And just as soon as Kent State had the biggest territory on the map, it now belongs to the Red Hawks of Miami. Nearing on halfway here in our tournament, and for the first time, we will see Eastern Michigan. And Eastern Michigan will go southeast. They will challenge Miami for the biggest chunk of the map. With a minute 14 to go in the game, Miami and Eastern Michigan are tied at 35. Who will come out on top? Second down. Got the route we wanted. The bottom pass into the end zone. Touchdown, Eastern Michigan. Last hope for Miami. Caught. Oh, nearly broke that tackle. It's a shoestring tackle to end it. And Eastern Michigan knocks off Miami. Just as the Red Hawks had claimed the biggest territory on the map, it now belongs to Eastern Michigan. We are halfway through the tournament. It's been a fun one so far, and we now see Northern Illinois getting an opportunity to play their first game. The arrow is basically pointing a little bit east, southeast, which means we've got Northern at Ball State, the Bronstock game. And Northern Illinois in 43 seconds, get in field goal range, and dash my dreams of having Ball State win MAC Imperialism. Let's find out. Here we go. 46 yards. Northern Illinois for the win. It is good. And Northern Illinois dashes Ball State's dreams, my dreams, and they soldier on in Retro Bull Imperialism. And the Huskies now own the west side of the map. Top five in the MAC is Central Michigan, Northern Illinois, Bowling Green, Eastern Michigan, and Ohio. We haven't seen Central or Bowling Green yet, but now we will see Bowling Green. The Falcons are up next. And BG will go north. North for Bowling Green is Eastern Michigan. Can the Falcons reclaim Ohio? Uh, out of bounds. You know what? Gonna be a little ballsy here. We're gonna go for it on fourth down. Cut touchdown, Eastern Michigan, with 22 seconds left. Gutsy call pays off. Eastern scores. All right, last play. Stays on his feet. Makes a move. Stays up. Oh, tackled and down he goes. Eastern Michigan has made the final four. Our final four teams here in MAC Imperialism. We've got Northern Illinois, Central Michigan, who we haven't seen play yet, Eastern Michigan, and Ohio. Who will get an opportunity to play their way into the final three? Looks like it's going to be the Huskies of Northern Illinois. And they will get a chance to go southeast. So I know I normally go from the logo southeast of the logo for Northern Illinois is nothing, but just for the sake of keeping it moving, southeast of this part of their territory hits Eastern Michigan, and that's what we're going to see in our next game. Eastern Michigan on the defense again, this time playing the Huskies. 11-point lead for Eastern Michigan, and all that's left is to salt this one away. Eastern will head... One step further in MAC Imperialism. And their portion of the map just got that much bigger. Eastern Michigan, Central Michigan, and Ohio are our final teams. We haven't seen Central play yet. They'll go Southwest, meaning the Chips could go from not playing a game to owning 
the biggest part of the map. It was 28 to 7 at halftime, and since that point, it has not really gotten any better for Central Michigan. Eastern has dominated this game. They've really put forth a valiant effort in this MAC imperialism tournament, and it is only fitting that they're going to be the team fighting for the championship. So there it is, the final two teams on the map here in MAC imperialism. Either Eastern Michigan is going to finish off their dominance and beat Ohio, or Ohio will go from having that small chunk of land in the corner to owning the entirety of the Mid-American Conference. We spin now to see who will be defending their turf. And it looks like it'll be played in Ohio. Hmm. Oh, okay. After some of the passes I made in the last game, I, I thought that was going to be... A bad one for sure. Is he's going to stay on his feet? Makes all the juke moves. Makes all the people miss. 77 yards. Fourth down. We go for it. Yeah. Yeah, easy, easy, into the end zone, touchdown, Eastern. Hot right, bounces off two defenders, Ohio scores. Hot right, touchdown, Eastern Michigan to end the half. We're at halftime between Ohio and Eastern Michigan, and it has been a good one. Back and forth, back and forth. We are tied at 21 apiece. Let's see what the second half has in store. Ooh, little screen pass, touchdown, Eagles. Just a throw caught, touchdown, Bobcats. We're tied. Break some tackles. Makes a great stiff arm, still on his feet. And touchdown, Eagles, with a minute 24 left. 10 seconds left. Last opportunity for Ohio. Or one of their last opportunities, at least. Heave to the end zone. Caught! Touchdown, Ohio! Let's go! What a catch! A heave into the end zone by the quarterback. Caught in the end zone. And Ohio is an extra point away from equalizing this game. We are headed to overtime between Eastern Michigan and Ohio. Here in Mac Imperialism, what a play to, uh, to send us to extra football. Throws, cut, touchdown, and Ohio wins it. And now the map belongs to the Ohio Bobcats. They're your Mid-American Conference Imperialism champions here in Retro Bowl. I mean, I know Ohio only played two games, but Eastern cleared out a bunch of the map, and then Ohio took care of business, and... They're the ones left standing. And that will do it for Mid-American Conference Imperialism. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you leave it a like, subscribe. If you are new, tell someone you love them. Next week, it's the Mountain West. We get to see Boise State. We get to see, I think, a Hawaii's in there, too. A lot of great teams, a lot of great uniforms. Going to be excited to see that. And, yeah, see you all then.